Welcome back, everybody. We're now joined in the studio by Janet Millick and Heather O'Brien. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. Good morning. All right, so we have a little bit of a cooking segment going on, but this isn't your traditional hamburger. No. This is elk meat. Um, we do have um, a lot of folks around town, obviously, that uh, at this time of the year, they have game meat. Some folks have a little bit of difficulty sometimes figuring out what to do with game meat, how to prepare it. It doesn't have as much fat as a lot of things that you get at the grocery store, so it can dry out, things like that. There are certain spices that work well with it and others that maybe don't work as good. And we're going we're gonna to show you how to prepare some elk burgers. They're called... The smoky beer burgers. The smoky yes, beer burgers. And all fabulous. right. So, what all goes into this recipe? Um, like the like the name implies, there's a lot of smoky spices. So we have some cumin here that we're going to add. Uh, we have some smoked paprika, which is a little bit different than regular paprika. Okay. Um, you can, if you don't have smoked paprika, you can use regular as a substitute. It just won't have as much of a smoky flavor to it. We're going to add some garlic, which is always great with game meat. We're going to add a little bit of what's called Montreal steak spices. It's just some, um, some onion, a little more garlic, salt, pepper. We're just going to add a little bit of that. Got to spice it up. That. And uh, some Worcestershire sauce. Okay. And then we have flat leaf or Italian parsley, finely chopped. It's a little bit, again, it's a little bit more pungent than uh, regular parsley, which doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to okay. it. We're going to add some of that. And then the secret ingredient which adds moisture and keeps your burger moist on the grill or on the in the frying pan is beer. Ah. Uh, so we're going to add about a about a half a bottle of beer. Like and any flavor of beer is good. Yeah. So if you just have, you know, a can of beer laying around, that's great. Or fancy beer is good too. And you know, I was wondering when the beer was going to come into the, <laughs> with the name of the smoky beer burgers. Now you you mentioned because uh, there is a lower fat content in the elk meat, mm -hmm. there are certain things you need to do uh, to prepare it. And you think the beer is one of those techniques? It is. It adds some moisture when it's on the grill. It's not going to dry out as much. Um, obviously, you want to watch it on the grill. And, and not overcook it, mm -hmm. um, but even if you do, I've found with this recipe that um, that the beer keeps holding the moisture. It's going to give it a little more flavor too, just kind of like a beer brat has a okay. little bit of extra flavor, and uh, and it, it turns out really really nice. Um, some people that don't like like game meat flavor, these smoky um, spices and things they kind of add. Um, add to the flavor, absolutely, and, and kind of complement the gamey, the gamey flavor. So you're gonna. This is actually a Rachel Ray recipe. Oh well, she does air right here on News 13. Oh, well, there, there you go. go. <laughs> Good. Um, to get the recipe, you just need to Google Smoky Beer Burgers, okay. and it comes up. And it has a creamy mustard sauce that goes on top of it as Alrighty. well. And it's pretty simple. Just use Dijon musk mustard, sour cream, mm -hmm. and dill, and just mix it together. And we just put that right up on top of the burger as well. All right. You want to. Try some? I absolutely want to. <laughs> All try right. Some. Here yes. you go. Hey, it's never too early. There you go. A little burger here. Now, You're I'm wondering, beer. so I'm not just eating here in silence, <laughs> Janet, how often are people interested in cooking with their wild game meat, but they maybe can't find any recipes? You know, that's something that commonly happens in the office. We often have hunters, um, particularly from out of state, that stop in and say, you know, I've never had an antelope before. How does it taste? What do I do to cook it? So at the office, we've actually started a recipe. Board. It's a new thing the last couple weeks where we're starting to pin up recipes that we can use. Um, oftentimes, uh, any recipes that are for you know beef or chicken, we can substitute some things and um, just put our game meat in, and away we go. But like like Heather has been saying, we like to use some stronger flavors, and we also like to use stuff that has moisture in it. There so. is a lot of flavor in this burger. It's amazing. I, I got to tell you, um, definitely taste the spice. It's coming out, but juicy, it's not dry. Mm -hmm. So that is very good. Well, we appreciate you both for coming in, sharing the recipes and this burger with me. I know everybody else in the studio is jealous, but <laughs> thank you so much for joining you us bet. today.